we have this idea that if something's written down, we know all about it. We're able to look at a greater piece and put it into a larger context. When we do an excavation, we're obviously we're, we're pulling up stuff. And, and through that stuff, we can, oh, we can right. get all sorts of patterns and ideas as to, to the everyday behavior that they, that, they were going, that they were going through. The campus archaeology program um, came out of a concern that all the archaeologists on campus so had about the fact that MSU does a lot of construction and a lot of destruction. Um, it's part of the nature of a university campus. All of those things disturb the earth. And on a campus as old as MSU's, um, you're going to be disturbing a lot of things um, that happened before. So there's both historic and prehistoric archaeological resources. And we were concerned that a lot of those were being destroyed. And not only were they being destroyed, but MSU was not even thinking about the fact that they were destroying them. An opportunity arose with the sesquicentennial. And I thought, what could we do, what could anthropology do as a sesquicentennial idea? And in talking to some of my colleagues, it occurred to me, what we could do is excavate the first dorm. In terms of the campus archaeology program, it woke up the university and said, oh my, there really is stuff here, and maybe we should be taking care of it. Campus archaeology collaborates with many different people across campus. Uh, Lynn and her team obtained access to, to, to excavate some test pits in, in the sand dune, uh, there by Demonstration Hall. I knew that it was difficult to, to get access uh, to uh, digging some holes there, maybe testing the age of it, so you know, I, I jumped at the chance. When I saw the degree of soil formation in the, in, in the top of the sand, as well as some features within the sand itself that are created during a soil forming process over a very long period of time, I knew right away that we'd sort of hit gold. We had a sand dune that was somewhere um, between 16,000 and 12,000 years old. Looks like what we have is the foundation of a structure. What we've uncovered so far are a series of large foundation stones um, that have mortar in between them. So that's a good indication that we have a foundation of a building that's intact and is not just rubble. The building that it would be is going to be College Hall, which was built in 1856. It was the first building on campus. It served as the classroom space and laboratory space for uh, the first students here. This is pretty significant. I mean, not just in terms of campus archaeology, but in terms of in Michigan State in general. I mean, this is, this is the first building on campus. So this is our, you know, our campus heritage is, is this space right here. And it'll tell us about, you know, what maybe what their classes were like, what sort of instruments and tools were being used in those classes. Um, and, and so it can tell us, it might be able to tell us some things really about not just the students, but also the faculty who worked here. This is, you know, this is actually the spot where the, the education occurred um, for the earliest students, and, and that was done by the faculty. So, so this is actually where you have the, the meshing of those two, those two communities. And this is a huge place, and we've only been able to look at little bits and pieces. And our, our goal is to try to take all the bits and pieces we've looked at and put them into a model that will better contextualize what we find. Mm -hmm.